I discovered my ex-fiance was not a virgin, so I dumped her. True story, my family and her family all hate me. True story, one thing I can't stand is a hypocrite. Let's define this word, shall we? Hypocrite, a person who puts on a false appearance of virtue or religion. A person who acts in contradiction to his or her stated beliefs or feelings. Hypocrite. Adjective. True story, my family and my now ex fiance family are all Catholic. I was taught that if I discovered that my ex fiance was not a virgin, like she proclaimed, I have the right to divorce or not marry her. So please explain to me why everyone, and I mean everyone, hates me for dumping my ex-fiance. True story. I discovered your channel in December. I've been listening and listening and finally sending you my story. We were to marry in March. I'm 19 years old. I turned 19 in November. My ex-fiance is 19 as well. Her birthday is also in November. We both attended a private Catholic school. Everyone told us we would marry. We identified as friends throughout school, but both of our families knew that we were a couple. And we didn't do anything while dating. We kissed a couple times, but they were pecs, nothing serious like a makeout. Katie, my ex fiance, I discovered is very sneaky because I had no clue that she'd met some guy from a different high school, and they did the do. This guy was a star football player and he attended one of the worst schools in the worst school district in our city. Mark is his name. He actually has a full ride scholarship to a D1 school for football. I've met him before at the mall here in our city. He's pretty popular and well known. Katie is a beautiful girl. She developed than the other girls in our school. So even though Mark is a black guy and Katie is white, I'd see why he'd want her. She has the physique of a grown black woman. The black guys in our school would say she's built like Bernice Burgos, but she's the white version. When I looked up who that was, it's pretty accurate. It's pretty accurate body wise. And she's all natural. Katie's mother is beautiful as well. And both of her parents are health conscious and they all work out daily at home. It's a family thing that they do. Her brother played football as well and is in tip top shape. But that natural talent just isn't there. He is in line for a basketball scholarship, though. I believe it's D2. And only partial. I play sports, but it's not my thing, honestly. I only played because people pushed me to because of my height. I'm six foot five, 225 pounds. But I've always wanted to be a civil engineer, and that's what I'm in college for. My coach used to get upset with me because he claimed... I didn't give my all on the court. He'd say I was too big to be sitting in an office and I need to be an athlete. It's just not me. My parents are both tall and they played sports in high school, but that's where it ended. It's a great way to stay in shape and play for fun, but I want to be a civil engineer like my pa. Anyway, Katie is a very sweet girl and was my best friend, seriously. We know so much about each other. I just didn't know that she was getting it in. I wouldn't, I would have never guessed it. We agreed to give each other to one another once we married. I proposed to Katie at our graduation party. We had a joint graduation party and mostly everyone knew I was going to pop the question, but her and her friends. Everyone was so happy. Katie couldn't stop crying. We kissed for the first time in front of everyone until her dad broke it up saying, all right, you aren't married yet. We both attended a local university, but also both still stay at home with our parents. Everyone encouraged us to marry early. One friend of the family said in church once that waiting to marry is a waste of time. No need to explore the evil ways of the world when you have someone pure already to share life with. I do still believe that. I hear a lot of people in these spaces talking about how men should basically be man thoughts. I think that's disgusting. I have no <laughs> I have no desire to bang multiple chicks or have full roster. At the same time, I don't know if I believe that I'll ever find a pure woman. 
may have to settle for close enough. The way things are, it's just bad, for lack of a better term. Simply put, everyone is addicted to promiscuity, even the men. I heard a podcaster in True Story, I won't say their name here, but he talked about how it how it's wrong for women to sleep around, and I completely agree with him, but then turned around and said it was okay for men to do it. How many young men listening to him ran out and tried to bang who they could and ended up with an STI, or even worse? It's not cool for anyone, but I'll probably be called a loser for feeling this way by your community. I'm sorry, but I don't allow people with a big microphone to run my life. There's things said in church that I agree with, and some things I just don't. Just like on social media, some podcasters say things I agree with, then they say complete nonsense. I'll probably never believe that anyone should have to live life alone. That doesn't mean marry just anyone or just be in a relationship with just anyone. At the same time, men clearly accomplish more when they're completely focused on their goals. But are you really completely focused on your goals when you're trying to juggle a roster of women? Anyway, we got engaged, Katie and I, and things were fine. We continued going on dates and our intimacy grew stronger and stronger. Not too long ago in 2023. She told me that she didn't want to wait until marriage. It was too far away and she wanted me bad. By this point, Katie and I have seen each other without clothes several times, and we both were impressed. Once we showered together, and we came very close to going all the way, but she stopped it. And we sat there on the bathroom floor and prayed together. Fighting against the flesh is very hard, especially if you have a significant other or you're watching corn or IG models, etc. The way I handle it is, not allowing my eyes to see certain things, and I don't associate with loose women. Anyway, we continued to go on dates, and we did kiss. A lot. And one day, she said she just couldn't wait anymore, and she needed me. We are going to get married anyway, so why not? I said, okay, let's do it. I told her I'll, I told her I'll book us a hotel room, and we'll do it there. I got a nice room. She insisted we split the bill. It was 300 bucks a night. It was very, very romantic. It was all perfect up until right when we were going to get started. We were under the covers and I was on her. And she stopped me and started crying. I was asking what was wrong and she told me that she needs to tell me the truth. I asked, okay, what is it? She says that she is not pure and she has already given herself to someone. I was hurt. It was like someone put a knife through my chest. True story, this truly hurt me. I got up, sat there on the floor, and I cried. How could she? She told me exactly who it was. Mark. I said, Mark, who? And she told me. I said, how? What? What are you talking about? She says she met him while she was out and they were just friends and she told him about me being her boyfriend, but he started buying her things and reading her poems and all kinds of bull crap and eventually she gave her body to him. She said she couldn't help it. It just felt right. I was asking her how many times and she said she doesn't remember, but more than once. I grabbed all of my things and I left. All she did was cry. Everything went through my head. I was angry, then tried telling myself she did me a favor, but I got angry again. I almost, I almost turned around because I wanted to make sure she didn't invite him to the hotel. But why, do, but why do that? I was done. I went home crying, and my mom grabbed and begged me to tell her what was wrong. I just couldn't speak. My dad came home, and we all sat in the kitchen. And I told them what Katie just told me and how I was hurt. My parents consoled me. Then my father said, son, it's not that bad. She still wants to be with you, right? I looked at him and I said, dad, are you serious? My mom said, son, you all secret is safe with us. We've already put money into this and her not being a virgin doesn't make her evil and no one else would know. I left my house and went straight to Katie's parents' home. Her father opened the door and I told him 
I will not be marrying your daughter because she's not pure and has admitted to me that she's not a virgin. I woke up on the ground. Katie's mom was helping me up. Her father had punched me in the face. I didn't even see him swing. It happened so fast. I actually stayed the night at Katie's. Her father apologized for punching me and then told me I will indeed marry his daughter. And I was being silly. I slept in their guest bedroom. Katie never came home. I told them that she was at a friend's. Her mother did call her and talk to her. Katie said she wouldn't be coming home until the next morning. The next morning, I did head back home. I told my parents, I'm not marrying her, and I was done. That all happened last semester. Currently, I've transferred to a different college in a different city. Everyone is upset with me, saying that I'm a bad person for calling off the wedding and wasting everyone's money and time. Katie denied telling me she wasn't a virgin, so I just look like the big liar who didn't want to get married. It's so unfortunate. I stand by what I did, and I have zero regrets.